This is a great exercise, especially as a beginner. I would say it's even essential. Hey, my sax playing friend, Alexander here from saxophonemasterclass.com. If you are a beginner saxophone player, if you're just starting, or maybe you're just thinking about starting on a saxophone, this lesson is for you. I'm gonna take you through the five things that you need to make sure you do correctly when you're starting on a saxophone. If you're not aware of these five things, you're gonna end up getting frustrated, you're gonna end up getting confused, you're gonna end up giving up on learning this beautiful instrument. And I really don't want that to happen. I want you to keep playing this instrument. I want you to learn your favorite songs. I want you to reach your goals, reach your dreams on the saxophone so you can feel the joy of learning this instrument. I've been playing the sax for over 25 years now and I've been a professional for most of that time and I absolutely love it to this day. But I did start out just like you, trying to learn my first fingerings, trying to learn how to breathe properly so I can get a correct sound. And if I didn't know about these five things I probably would have given up in those first few weeks. Now before I get into that I do want to let you know about my free beginner saxophone course called the saxophone from scratch challenge and you can get free access to this course at saxophonemasterclass.com forward slash challenge. This is perfect for beginners, for people that are just starting. I take you through all the fundamental concepts on the sax, show you your first fingerings, show you how to hold the instrument, show you how to form your embouchure, which is how you form your mouth over the mouthpiece and read on the sax. And I even show you your first songs, like When the Saints Go Marching In, by the end of the challenge. So make sure to check that out after you watch this lesson. So the number one thing that you should know as a beginner saxophone player is making sure that you have the right equipment. You need to make sure you have the right mouthpiece, the right reed, the right saxophone for a beginner saxophone player. If you have a mouthpiece that's too advanced, for example, it's gonna be really hard for you to play the sax as a beginner. If you have a reed that's too hard, it's gonna make it difficult for you to start playing the sax as a beginner. And you also wanna make sure that the sax itself doesn't have any bends or any dents or any leaks in it where the pads aren't sealing against the tone holes correctly because any of that can affect your ability to play the sax. So ideally you wanna ask someone more experienced to play your saxophone, make sure they can play your reed and mouthpiece, but you also wanna make sure that you're using the correct mouthpiece and reed as a beginner sax player. You wanna make sure that you're using a reed somewhere between one and a half and two strength, because that is the best place to start as a beginner. This means that the reed is a little softer and it's a lot easier to vibrate the reed against the mouthpiece. You also wanna make sure the mouthpiece is not an advanced mouthpiece and that it's easier to play for beginner saxophone players. Now there's plenty of beginner mouthpieces that you can get for the saxophone, but my recommendation is to get a Yamaha 4C and a traditional Van Doren reed, strength one and a half or two reed. This is gonna be the best setup as a beginner saxophone player. Now, if you wanna get all my recommendations for beginner saxophone mouthpieces, beginner reeds, even beginner saxophones, you can actually download my free ultimate saxophone buyer's guide at saxophonemasterclass.com forward slash guide. And I give you all the different recommendations for every saxophone, alto, tenor, baritone, and soprano, so you can decide what sax you should get, what reeds you should get, what mouthpiece you should get, and even things like neck straps, and cleaning equipment, and saxophone stands, etc., etc. So that's the first thing you need to take care of if you're a beginner saxophone saxophone player. You need to make sure you have the right equipment because if you don't, you're just going to end up getting frustrated and you're going to wonder why you're not able to play the saxophone when it could just be the equipment itself. The second thing you need to know as a beginner sax player is to hold the saxophone correctly and it all starts with this neck strap here. You should have a way to adjust the length of the neck strap using this part of the neck strap here and you want to be able to adjust this after you attach the saxophone to the neck strap using this clip here. So I'm gonna clip on the neck strap using this loop here. And when I have that connected, I'm gonna adjust the neck strap so that the mouthpiece reaches my mouth here. And that's the way it should rest as it leans against your body. So that's step one with holding the sax correctly. And then you wanna make sure that you're wrapping your hands around the saxophone correctly as well. And I'm gonna show you a couple of tips on where you should be placing your fingers and hands on the saxophone, but I do have an entire lesson that goes through this step by step at the end of this video. So check it out once you've watched this lesson. So when you're holding the sax, you wanna make sure that you're only really focusing on these front keys here. You only wanna focus on pressing these keys 
and these keys down here. You don't want to be pressing any of these side keys or these palm keys up here or any of these spatula keys over here. You want to try and avoid them as much as possible as a beginner and only focus on these front keys and this octave key on the back. So you want to avoid pressing these side keys completely by creating a claw shape with your hands so that you can make a gap in between the side keys and your palms. Same thing over here, you want to be able to make a claw. You don't want to keep your fingers straight so that you don't press these palm keys. So that's really difficult as a beginner, but you want to make sure that you're doing that and not pressing any of these side keys on the saxophone. Again, I have another lesson at the end of this video that takes you through all of this step by step in more detail, but you can also learn more about it inside my saxophone from scratch challenge. So if you're a beginner saxophone player, that is a great challenge to take and it's completely free. Just go to saxophonemasterclass.com forward slash challenge. Which brings me to the third thing you need to know as a beginner saxophone player, you should only be focusing on the middle register of the saxophone. So what do I mean by that? I mean, you shouldn't be trying to go up higher on the sax and you shouldn't be trying to go down lower on the saxophone. You should really just be focusing on the notes of G major. And I have another lesson on that. It's called your first saxophone scale and I link to it at the end of this video. That G major scale consists of the range that you should be focusing on as a beginner. I'm gonna play it for you now just to show you what I mean. So G major starts on G, which is those first three fingers in the left hand. And that really should be your first note on the saxophone. And as you work up the scale of G major, you're gonna go up to G with the octave key. And the entire G major scale sounds like this. So that's G major on the saxophone, and that's what we call the middle register of the saxophone. So as a beginner, you should only really be focusing on this middle register. If you start trying to go lower on the sax, it's gonna get really difficult to play the notes, and if you start going higher on the sax, you're gonna have the same problem. It's gonna be harder to play those higher notes. And that's because you haven't developed all the fundamental techniques that you need to know to play the saxophone. So for example, if you try to play lower, you might end up sounding like this. So you're not able to get the notes, it starts going up higher, you're not able to get out that low sound on the sax. The opposite may be true when you try to go higher on the instrument. Let me show you what I mean. So we're going to start on G with the octave key, and then we're going to try and go up higher on the sax. Now I'm purposely playing bad there, but this is what a lot of beginners tend to sound like when they try to play higher. They're not getting the notes in tune. The notes tend to go back down lower instead of staying up in the high register. This is because you haven't developed the fundamental techniques that you need to know to play the saxophone. Which brings me to the fourth thing you need to know when you're learning the saxophone. You need to make sure you're focusing on these fundamental techniques by warming up. So there's a bunch of different ways to warm up on the saxophone and I go through all of them inside my saxophone from scratch challenge. But just to give you an overview, you need to work on your breathing exercises, you need to work on your embouchure muscles and you need to work on your long tones so you can warm up the sax, which will make it a lot easier to play scales, to play songs and to start really improving your skills on the saxophone. If you don't warm up, you're going to have a really hard time with getting consistency in your tone. You're going to have a really hard time with figuring out new fingerings and learning new things on the sax. So you want to focus on learning how to breathe correctly using diaphragmatic breath. And you want to make sure that you're focusing on your embouchure and learning how to position your embouchure correctly. And the best way to practice those two things is to use just the mouthpiece and neck. So we're just going to practice our breast support and positioning our embouchure correctly using the mouthpiece and neck like this. So this is a great warm-up exercise as a beginner. And you can do this without the rest of the saxophone. So I'm just going to put the sax back down on my stand here and I'm just going to focus on playing a long tone with just the mouthpiece and neck like this. So we're going to take a deep diaphragmatic breath right from our stomach 
position our embouchure. And we're going to do a long tone with just the mouthpiece on neck. This is a great exercise, especially as a beginner. I would say it's even essential to be practicing this exercise so you can work on your embouchure muscles, you can work on your breast support, you can work on vibrating the reed against the mouthpiece so you can get a consistent tone, and you can also work on how you tongue the reed on the saxophone as well. So this is the foundation of how to play the sax, and you need to be able to get this consistently before you even use the rest of the saxophone. Again, I go through all of these different warm-up exercises and breathing exercises and where to position your tongue, where to position your mouth, where to position your lips on the reed. It's all inside the saxophone from scratch challenge. Just go to saxophonemasterclass.com forward slash challenge. Which brings me to the fifth thing you need to know as a beginner saxophone player. You need to make sure you're getting the correct guidance on the saxophone, especially at the very beginning. If you're not getting the right guidance, you're gonna learn the wrong techniques, you're gonna get frustrated, you're gonna get overwhelmed, you're gonna get confused, and eventually you're just gonna give up. So you really need to make sure you're getting the proper guidance from an experienced instructor who knows how to teach beginners from scratch, which is why I created the Saxophone From Scratch Challenge. But even if you don't take that challenge, you should get a lesson from a competent instructor that's gonna show you the correct techniques so you're not learning things the wrong way for weeks or months and then have to unlearn all of that when you finally get an instructor. It's gonna help you learn the saxophone quicker, it's gonna help you reach your goals faster, and it's the best way to just start enjoying playing the saxophone as well. Once you know you're doing everything right, and once you're getting the correct instruction, you're gonna feel like you're making progress and you're gonna get more enjoyment out of learning the sax. So that's the five things you should know as a beginner saxophone player. You should make sure you have the correct equipment, saxophone, reed, mouthpiece. You need to make sure you're holding the saxophone correctly, not pressing those side keys and making sure the neck strap is pulled up enough so that the mouthpiece is in line with your mouth. You need to make sure you're focusing on the middle range of the saxophone and not moving on to the higher notes or the lower notes, at least for a few weeks as you're learning the saxophone. You need to make sure you're warming up on the saxophone using breathing exercises, using embouchure exercises, and ideally just using the mouthpiece and neck exercise I showed you in this video. And number five, you need to make sure that you're getting the correct guidance from a competent instructor so that you're learning the saxophone the right way and not having to unlearn bad habits and bad techniques later down the road. So my friend, I really hope you enjoyed today's lesson and you got a lot out of this video. If you did, please let me know, comment below, and make sure to subscribe for weekly lessons from me. Remember, you can get access to my free beginner course at saxophonemasterclass.com forward slash challenge, and you can start learning all of these fundamental techniques, learning the saxophone the right way, so you can start achieving your goals on the sax as soon as possible. And if you want to continue your saxophone journey with me after you complete that beginner course, I actually have hundreds of other lessons and courses that you can get access to at saxophonemasterclass.com. And I also have a ton of free lessons on this channel as well. All right, my friend, until next time, thank you so much for watching and happy playing.